Man, I am so excited for that Tetris movie. Oh god, I I still don't understand how they can make a movie out of that. Like I can I can I can see a way. I unless it well if it uh whatever, Tetris, <laughs> Tetris the movie coming to theaters this summer. I I don't know when it's actually coming out. <laughs> I th- I think it's this year. Shaded Woods. I vaguely remember you. Yeah, there's a fork in the road. We only took one, and that leads us to oh. at the end of Freya. And then now we're taking another path, which we will need the oh. uh, oh, hey. more ogres. Get out of my swamp. <laughs> um, we'll need the king's ring to progress further in this particular path. Sure. Uh, the king's ring has a lot of uses. Is the uh, is it gonna be another boss fight? Uh, obviously. <laughs> uh, uh, so, apparently, Ubisoft. Yeah. Is, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Is make. Not content to sit on the fact that they're making an Assassin's Creed movie, which nobody cares about. Uh, <laughs> no, but they have cool pre order bonuses for the movie. Oh god, those are the. What's the highest you can pay for? Like a thousand dollars for a bunch of stuff. Yeah, like you get like what replica hidden blades or something uh, with one of the. I think so. Pre-order. I don't. I don't even. I don't. Uh, Ubisoft, stop, stop. Pre-order the tickets just in case they run out because no, it's gonna be a hit. No, don't. That is the worst idea. Like there's actually no idea that could possibly be stupider, but. Yeah. That's, no. that's that's probably an exaggeration, but like, Jesus. Yeah. Um, Hang on. So anyway, the symbol of the king, no punctuation. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, not content to sit on the fact that they're making Assassin's Creed into a movie because they had to have some excuse to uh, to to be like, oh well, we don't have another Assassin's Creed game this year. But you guys are still getting more Assassin's Creed. You better believe it. Uh, they are also now making a Division movie. Or they want to make a Division movie. Because so many people loved the Division? I don't... Did people actually... I don't, like, how many people... I mean, I guess it sold a lot, but, man, I don't, I don't know, I don't, I don't, man, but anyway, this, uh, this article that I found on it is a little bit silly as well, because it, it completely disregards the fact that, uh, Prince of Persia, while perhaps not adapted by Ubisoft, uh, oh, here, look at you. Uh, while not adapted by Ubisoft, Prince of Persia was still uh, a Ubisoft property. So maybe the fact that Assassin's Creed is uh, oh. also it's gonna be a hit. They've 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 apparently announced a Splinter Cell movie. Like what? Oh yeah, they also did that. Like what? Oh, Ubisoft, what are you? T- stop! 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 Why are you single-handedly trying to bring back awful video game movies? I don't... It's not like the Prince of Persia movie was, you know, that big. I don't... Or they're gonna try again. I don't even know how many people, like... How many people saw Prince of Persia and didn't even know it was, like, a video game in the first place? Because, like... Um... Well, I watched <laughs> it with my family. I don't think my family knew. Exactly. Like... Because I, I know a lot of people who, like, know the movie, but they're not the sort of people who, like, know that much about, that, like, that much about video games. Like, they know, you know, Nintendo and Sony stuff, but they're not going to be paying attention to, like, EA and Ubisoft and Activision and... Well, I, I think that's the case with a lot of other franchises, because my sis- my little sister, she's big into the Resident Evil movies, and she didn't know it was a video game series. Exactly! Exactly! Like, I don't... Uh, Ubisoft. Uh. 
I don't know. I don't know. It's, it, it is very weird seeing a resurgence of video game movies because we just go rat- we just we got Ratchet and Clank like not too yeah. long ago, and then and Warcraft that bombed. It did, didn't it? Which is yeah. strange to me because good. Well, apparently the game was pretty good. And I know, but like it scenes from the game is the same as the scenes from the movie, or the other way around, <laughs> doesn't matter. Yeah, it's I don't I don't. I don't see any reason why the movie shouldn't have worked, to be honest, but I don't know. Well, they, they tried to have a narrative that fit both a movie and a game because it was pretty much, pretty much the same story, so one of them had to... Uh, what is that? The what? short end of the stick. What is that? Why is that carriage rocking? Because it's from Bloodborne. We probably don't want to come a-knocking, do we? No. <laughs> so, this is Azlatil. This is probably Lucatil's brother, who she had been f trying to find. So he's a an evil dude who's trying to kill everybody. Maybe. <laughs> That's what it looks like. Uh. Oh, it should have been Luca Dill who fought you, not me. Yeah. So, so we killed him. Um, and so she's not gonna she's not gonna find him anymore. Sure. Because we did her quest. Uh, so would she actually have fought him if? Like, we didn't. Maybe. Do well, you you don't get to see it if you ask what you were wondering. I mean, like, would we end up finding her like dead somewhere or something? No, I don't think so. I think this is this is would be her last location. So there's just no payoff for any any anything. Hmm. I guess not. Uh, Dark Souls Two. Why? 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 Uh, it's just it's still, it's still a cool character. I don't... This is... Uh, it's as, it's, it's as mind-boggling as the, the Division, so... Okay. I don't know, I just... I'm just... I, I find it remarkable that Ubisoft puts so much effort into making things into, like, big franchises when they're literally the only people who actually care. Like... Assassin's Creed is very popular, man. They, you know what's also but popular? But they ran it to the, into Movies. the ground! Still popular. Like, they've... They've they managed to... They managed to make it this huge multi-million dollar, like, thing and then killed it. Like... All in the span, uh, in the span of like five years, because <laughs> hmm. like, because they they didn't they didn't start doing the annual releases until after Assassin's Creed Two, like yeah, and then they were like, oh yeah, it's just all Assassin's Creed all the time, and then because apparently video game companies can't learn from the past, and they didn't realize that that was why Guitar Hero died, uh, <laughs> and then came back and died again. <laughs> Yeah, actually, it's it's hilarious that uh, like Rock Band and Guitar Hero both had new releases last year, almost at the same time. Was it, it was last, last year? year yeah. yeah, and yes. and like nobody remembers them anymore. <laughs> like nobody's yeah. nobody's still talking about them. <laughs> it, it's like those those types of rhythm games are just kind of like dead in the water now. Because of uh, yeah, well, it's hard to keep track of all those plastic. Well, it's just because they 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 oversaturated their own market. Like they create they 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 found a piece of the market that was previously untapped. They were like, okay, we're gonna get all of the money out of this section of the market, and then they got it, and then they didn't realize that there was nothing left for them to continue getting. <laughs> And so they just kept trying to get more and more, and everyone was like, no, we're done. And now nobody cares about, like, those guitar-based games anymore. <laughs> mm, it's like, I, I yeah, guess... I guess that's not even something you'd play at parties anymore, do you? Well, yeah, I guess there are still some people who, like, occasionally like, pull yeah, it out. Yeah, bound to be some people who dust off their old instruments. But, yeah, it's it's not, like, it's not nearly the widespread thing that it used to be, like... Like, oh, wow. Yeah, when was the last time you heard somebody say, oh, yeah, you know, I just I had a bunch of friends get together and I just all did Through Band. the Fire and Flames an expert. Yeah, uh, no one cares anymore. Yeah, it's like, 
<laughs> no, nobody talks about that stuff anymore. It's 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 kind of sad in a way, really, because like rhythm games as a genre aren't dead. Like there's still plenty of other like like more kind of action based rhythm games rather than like pure like dance or instrument like musical instruments. Well, like the um like there there are games like you know Audio Surf and stuff like that like those are still pretty popular because it, like because people like rhythm based games it's just the yeah the instrument based stuff is like nobody cares anymore <laughs> it's uh i don't know i don't know i i i guess i'm not particularly bothered because i wasn't really uh wasn't really big on the uh, uh, instrument games in the first place, um, but yeah, I was never too big into them either. Yeah, I don't know. It's it's like it's a cute novelty, but I guess because of the that's fact that's what it is. It's a novelty. Yeah, like because of the fact that I actually wanted to play a real guitar, like it just felt felt like eh, so, like something like Rocksmith on uh on steam and whatever oh, that's, would that's be, different that's, well, yeah, actually that's learning how to play yeah that would be more like more beneficial to like m someone like me a high giant basilisk uh well i just want to point out the absurdity so this thing was locked up in a cage for god knows how long and then it just and it, it yeah. broke out within one second <laughs> it literally just turned and shattered the entire thing <laughs> yeah it could have done that this entire time <laughs> Uh, We're gonna find more creatures who can do that later. <laughs> yeah, like so, you know, if if people actually want to learn instruments and whatever, uh, and have it be kind of like gamified, something like Rocksmith is actually not that bad. Uh, and I believe that's also from Ubisoft, isn't it? <laughs> uh, I don't know. I, I think it is. <laughs> I'll uh, I'll, go, I'll check that real quick. Uh, but I believe it is a Ubisoft game. At least they're not milking yeah. that. Yeah, it's a Ubisoft game. <laughs> uh, yeah, at least, yeah, at least that doesn't have yearly... Actually, I think it might. But well, it... you plug it into your real guitar, so you don't... Like, you don't have to buy extra peripherals. Well, yeah. And plus, it's like... You know, like, yearly updates for that kind of thing are perhaps a little bit more understandable than because uh, like with with guitar with guitar hero like what did they do to, that actually warranted buying a full new game between like uh, it's a new selection of songs but with the advent of dlc yeah that, come, that like, became like less understandable. Yeah, that, that was that was the thing it's like as soon as dlc started being a thing like that was when C Guitar Hero and Rock Band both kind of just, like, died. Because the expansion packs and, like, new games weren't relevant anymore. And so they just had, like, every every six months or so, they would just have these, like, expansion pack releases of full new sets of songs. And it was like, this, this is too much. Like, people don't care about this. Well, I think it was doomed from the start because, like... It's, it's a video game, so and it doesn't offer that much, because all you can really do to change it up is change the song and change how the notes are layered, yeah. and then <laughs> that's it. <laughs> yeah. So, like, if, if someone who doesn't understand the game, they look at one song, and it would look exactly the same as another song, no matter what. <laughs> it would be nice to have, like, have something like... I, well, actually, I don't. I don't know if Rocksmith does this already, but like, have something like, like Rocksmith, which also f has like the functions of games like Audio Surf or Symphony, where you can just use any song that you have on your computer, and yeah. it'll it'll dynamically like change what you're trying to do in the game. No, that's not a viable business strategy. You have to pay for each song. <sighs> I know. That's right? how you make the money. <laughs> can't have people using songs that they have like they have to, you have to they have to make back the money on the all their licensing costs that's it 
I'd be in interested in like a in that sort of game, but for more obscure songs. Because <laughs> you know, not just songs I can just listen to on the radio. Yeah, even I don't listen to the radio, but you, you know, you, you get what I mean. Well, um, that's that's what I mean. Like, I, it would be nice if you could just use your own music library. Like, yeah. You know what? I, I don't get why people even listen to the radio anymore. Can't you just like <laughs> listen to the songs that you like instead of having it randomized across a library that you don't know? I don't. Uh, I don't. I don't listen to the radio. So I don't. I don't know why anyone still does. Yeah. It's, it's kind of like it's it's funny how like radio is less relevant now because because first of all, it's mostly commercials. Like. You can't. Uh, some radio stations in the UK aren't. Don't, they don't have commercials. Oh man, it, there uh, are... B- B- BBC, BBC doesn't play commercials. There are there are a few there are, there are a few stations that are better than others, but the majority of stations, at least at least locally around here, are chock full of. Comm- there are like there are more commercials than there than there is music. Um, uh, well, at least you could have commercials as songs. You know, <laughs> those aren't ever good though <laughs> they're yeah, so they bad catchy jingles oh they're so bad it's a radio people came to hear you listen to music so um yeah so like so radio is less relevant than ever really because like because yeah you can just go to youtube or find it on like itunes or something and like you don't need the radio to like find new music anymore um and it's it's never been particularly good for like unless you have a good radio station that's like local to your area, radio's never really been per- fantastic at finding new music. Anyway, uh, I am looking forward to the day that outdated formats that are around today are like they cease to exist. You know, like that's, newspapers. That's gonna be weird to think. I, like, I really look forward to that. And then and like even eventually, television. everyone who uses them are gonna die out. Like even television is like because of because of things like YouTube and Netflix, like television's just not not nearly as big as it used to be, like even fifteen years ago anymore. <laughs> you know, when I see like a YouTube video try to look like a TV show, I'm like, What the <laughs> fuck are you doing? <laughs> Do you understand anything? Are you dense? I mean I I still I still I appreciate I like I appreciate you know primetime television because that's it's it's a level of budget and production that you can't find in most YouTube like channels and stuff. But like man, I know, but it looks so fake. <laughs> I mean, like do they do they sink money into trying to make the show look fake? It all depends on what you're watching, I guess. I don't. There's a lot of YouTube videos that are just like, I'm just watching TV, what the fuck? I don't, like, I can't, I have not found many YouTubers who have the same level of Well, the, there's, value. okay, well, there's a channel called Polaris. Have you heard of that? That's not a channel, that's a network, but okay. It's, it's a YouTube channel. They have a YouTube channel, but they, yes. they are and a they, network. They have videos specifically for the channel. Um... And I know it just looks like um, something about uh, what is it called, Guild Grumps? Yeah. Yeah, it just like the way the camera moves and just like how the sets are done, it just looks so. The, like well, it starts the game Grumps, and it well, that's the thing, goes like, against everything about them. That that whole thing and things like that that like events like that that Polaris does or that people involved with Polaris do, like. That's that's the level of low budget TV. Like that's still not the level of average TV. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> which is which is kind of what I'm saying. It's like no. the only the only th- like the best things you'll find on YouTube are equivalent to really low budget TV shows. And so that's that's kind of the why I can like appreciate big sitcoms and like drama shows and stuff like that, but I I don't I don't watch I think, a lot of TV, so... I think it's just... Yeah, well, you watch a lot more than me. Me and Spencer. <laughs> yeah. That's... I barely turn on the TV for, well, TV shows. I I haven't caught up on any television, like, in a very long time, actually. 
I guess oh, I'll anything, have to... I w anything that's on TV that I watch, they're just watching uh, on PC. Well, or I, tablet. Yeah, I mean, I still have to watch, uh, still have to watch Daredevil. So, you know. I gotta catch up on them on my animes. Can't get that on TV. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> not here, unfortunately. <laughs> the only, no, the only thing, be... only thing that shows anime around here is uh, Cartoon Network. I think maybe. Oh, they only show like Pokemon or something. No, they well at, at least here they, um, they brought back Toonami, so they have an actual like or or they did a couple years ago. I don't I don't know if it's still going now, but <laughs> yeah, did. I don't know if it still ex it still exists at the moment. They like they killed it, and then they did bring it back like in twenty, like two like three or four years ago I think, um. And it, it was around, at least for a while. I, I haven't checked up on it lately to see if it's still around now. But, like, they had an actual block where they just played, like, a bunch of different anime. Uh, which... Yeah, it's all reruns. <laughs> it's, it had some newer stuff. You can't get any new stuff like in Crunchyroll. Well, and he broke out of his cage, too. Immediately, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it make, brings the question no, of, like, oh, well. I've summoned you so mu so often. It's for his tankiness. Like, look how, look how little damage he takes from those. Why doesn't the ogre just eat him? <laughs> can't get a can't get a grip on him with all those Havel shields. Maybe he's too heavy? <laughs> um... <sighs> yeah, like, just stuff like... Stuff like Crunchyroll and Netflix and Amazon Video and just all this other like streaming services just makes TV irrelevant for the most part because because again like much like with radio if you watch TV all you get are commercials. <laughs> like, well, not just that, but like you don't get to decide when to watch what on TV. That too. But on streaming, you just choose what you want to watch, and then you watch it immediately. Yeah, like, like even even the people I know who do still watch TV, like, they record everything they watch. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so that they can watch it when they want to and how they want to. Like, they don't watch it live because nobody wants to deal with that like setup anymore. Yeah, even then, like for for like. For people I know who still watch the TV, half the time it's just they have it on for background noise. Yeah, that's that's <laughs> how I treat YouTube now. Like, be, because oh, I yeah, I guess, but well, because I, I kind of do that, but it's still in my peripheral vision. Yeah. You know? Well, so so what I do is I have I have my I have my setup so that I have like my laptop off to the side a little bit. So that if I like, it, it's in my, it's in my, the corner of my vision. And if I look over, I can see my laptop screen. Um, and then I have my main computer monitor, like, right in front of me. And so I'll, like, if I'm playing a game or whatever, it'll be on my main desktop monitor. And then I'll be, like, listening to YouTube and have it off on my laptop on the side. <laughs> because I don't, because yeah, I, I, I do don't. I do that instead of a, instead of a laptop, I use a tablet. Um, well, I'm, if I if I had two monitors, I would probably just use a dual monitor setup. I have two monitors, setup, and I still but, uh, use my tablet for extra stuff. I don't have a tablet. Oh. Okay, so there's a bunch of these guys in here. Uh, cool. I believe this is where they come from. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention we're in a place called Aldia's Keep, and this is where a bunch of experiments goes down. So. Sure. Which is why there's a whole load of ogres in here, who are just clipping Perhaps. through the walls and doors. Something tells me that they shouldn't have been placed <laughs> in this area. <laughs> uh, or it's the almost doors... as if the enemy placement in this game is weird. Or the doorways should have been made wider. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> um, it's almost as if there's a lack of direction. I don't have a tablet, so... Speaking of lack of direction. No, that's, okay, well, well, when you have something on your on your laptop, you're listening or watching it. You don't ha You're not listening to the game audio. I, I do, sometimes. It because I have um, I have multiple pairs of headphones and stuff as well. So okay. Uh, one thing I usually like if I don't want to, uh, if I don't want to have an overwhelming amount of noise, 
or I want to uh, cut out other noises that are coming from other places around me because my neighbors are loud and uh, my father is loud sometimes as well. Uh, I just I just use my headphones. Um, and so I'll have like one pair of headphones hooked up to my laptop and I'll have one headphone in one ear and I'll have another pair of headphones mm. hooked up to my uh, desktop and have the other headphone in my other ear. Oh. Oh. What? Oh no. Is, is this it's boss? coming alive. Uh, and it killed oh. me. That was quick. I got the Aldea key. <laughs> I thought I was going to go through the door, but I missed. <laughs> so in vanilla, that dragon would have come alive as soon as you entered the area. But uh -huh. in Scholar Furson, I had to light all four of these sconces. Uh. Um, and each one summoned a forlorn. Okay. For some reason. So is, yeah. that, is that skeletal dragon a boss fight? No. He's just an environment thing. So, so this guy's called Navon, by the way. He's apparently really bad, and he's been locked up. So, um, if you talk to him when you're on Hollowed, he's like, oh, go away. I don't... I, I, I like how your face looks. Go away. Um, but since we talked to him on Hollowed this time, he's like, hey, you and me have a lot in common. Let's talk. They squander all of their interesting enemies. Like, why do you not get to... Why do you not get to get into a punch-up with the skeletal dragon? You know what's better than fighting a skeletal dragon? Fighting a normal one in this area as its boss fight. Yeah. Uh, I guess it's not even a dragon. It's a wyvern. Get it right. I guess it's better than a dude in a suit of armor, but still, like... As long as the thing is an interesting moveset, you know. There's all okay. There's a lot of bosses in DS3 that are just, a, you know, a humanoid, but their move set is, um, not just a player's move set like it is in. Well, DS2. like, cause the very, we probably talked about this. The very first boss of Dark Souls 3 is like starts out looking. Oh, uh, you've you've been spoiled by that? Yeah, I've seen I've seen that much. Um, okay. Like he starts out looking like a dude in a suit of armor. And then halfway yeah, through yeah, the yeah. fight, he explodes yeah. into a big, like... In, in second base, he turns into a Resident Evil monster. Yeah, basically. Like, that's that's interesting. That's not just a fight with a dude in a suit of armor who has a weapon that you can get yourself. Like, yeah. <laughs> that is a... Yeah, they, every boss fight in DS3 <sighs> has two, at least two phases in this fight. So. Huh. Are, they, are they, like, distinct... Uh, yeah, yeah. You, you'll know when you've entered the uh, the second phase. I appreciate that. I I like bosses that change throughout the course of the encounter. Yeah, some of the DS one's best bosses, you know, like Arnstein Snow and like Artorius, all have different phases in the fight. So. I mean, even Sif um, technically changes. Like, uh, yes, you fight yeah. Him. <laughs> um. By the way, for Navlan, he's he's this is the assassination quest line, uh. basically. Our first target is the ladder smith, Gilligan. Um, <laughs> but earlier, I you you kill an NPC and then they drop something and then you present that item to him. But since I bought the item from Gilligan, I can just give that and not kill him, <laughs> and I, it progresses. So the, the next one is Kale, who is uh, the guy next to the map. Um, so at first, I would have had to kill him and present his helmet. But I'll need to go through the majority of the game before that, so I have no choice but to kill Kale. Huh. He's counting on us. I like it's that, our job to kill him. I like that his name is so similar to Gavlan as well. Oh yeah. <laughs> no relation, I'm sure. No. 